Hey family, so people are wondering if I care that my family is going to hell, except for one, which I'm pretty sure y'all get the hint that the baby is the one that's gonna be saved, okay, Adrian? But I had a dream and also there's people in my family that are saying she doesn't care, she doesn't care. And I'm not sure specifically who said it, but based off of this dream, I kind of got an idea. But in a dream that I had last night, like I said, it explains exactly how I feel. So I saw my sister, Nevaeh, and I just remember seeing her and she had no expression on her face. And I went up to her and I was like, y'all, I was taking her head and I was screaming at her. And I was like, why would you do this to yourself? Why would you do this to yourself? Now you have to go to hell. Why didn't you listen to me? Like I was going off and it was hurt. It was pain because I knew she had so much potential because I was in disbelief. Like, I'm not gonna lie to you. I am not surprised about the other two, three rather, no, two, yeah. I wasn't surprised about that, but for her to do it, for her to join and come into agreement with them, I was very shocked. I was very surprised, okay? I was taken aback so much to the point where when he first told me, when he first allowed me to hear her talking in the spirit, I didn't believe it. I'm like, there's no way. That's how crazy it was. That's how much in denial I was. So in the dream, I was just, and y'all, it was so much hurt. It was like, I couldn't cry because my heart was crying. So yeah, when it comes to my family, no, I'm not, um, like, I don't care. I don't care about the rest of them, the fact that they're going to burn in hell. Um, I'm, I'm not saying I don't care as in, you know, it's not a horrible thing. Like, that's horrible. That's terrible. That's sad. But as far as um, caring, like, being sad, after knowing they tried to take my life, it's like, what are you, like, I don't see you as family anymore. You know what I mean? Like, you're a stranger to me. I don't know you. When the Lord said, depart from me, ye that work iniquity, it's like, they departed from my heart. Once I found out that they tried to do that. And as far as the other ones, um, I wasn't that shocked. I wasn't that surprised because they're fruit but her i was very shocked i was very surprised it was very much so like completely different from her personality and the thing is that was a demon that took control of her because she wouldn't stop making those tiktoks with that worldly music she didn't want to put away worldly music not realizing that the veil was removed so the demon attached itself to her okay and she didn't have any control over what she was saying I even heard her in the spirit saying, I can't help it. She knew she couldn't help it. She literally could not. And neither can the rest of these people. So what that's saying is that that is who I'm shocked about. That is who I'm surprised. Okay. She had so much potential. She had so many gifts. It was just like, yo, she was so anointed. She was so anointed. And it's it's very possible for the Lord to take his hand off of you, especially in this hour. It's possible for you to become void. So you can go from anointed to void in a matter of a minute, seconds even, because the veil is no longer here. You know, think about it like this, because you could be like, all right, a veil. What do you mean by that? You know what I mean? So before a husband kisses his bride, the veil was covering her face. So imagine... He tries to kiss her through the veil it's not really connecting you know so it could be very close but it, it just it, it's not real you know what i mean like it's just not gonna have the same effect so once he removes the veil and then they kiss 
it's actually happening it's actually taking place all right so they are attaching themselves to each other so to say um and that's what's happening in the spirit so these demons are no longer having a barrier thank you lord there's no longer a barrier for these demons it's literally becoming them even when the um the three days of darkness takes place which he gave me a dream about that where it's full manifestation so all of these people who are void during this time they are going to turn into an actual demon i mean no human form possessed um and so it's just going to be more obvious to the world it's going to be terror and fear that come upon people because of what they're going to see. That's why I said in the last days, men's heart will fail them because it's going to be scary for them to see this. Um, so that's the best way to describe the veil being removed. Like um, there's no barrier for these demons anymore. So it's literally taking full form over these people that are still living in sin or that don't want to give up the things of the world. People of God as well, um, you know, they're going to be taken over by the enemy and they're not going to be able to help it. So that's it for this. Um, Y'all have a blessed day, week, month, and a year in Jesus' mighty, holy, precious name.